Tiger. Allen's problem is that he has the ace of spade here, meaning he's got the ace high flush draw himself. He saw how quickly Ronnie bet that pot. He's going to call oh, him here, yeah. Vance. So a big pot developing now, over 600,000 in it. And we've got one more card to go. Can Allen pull off the last spade? Nope. Well, ten of hearts comes off. Action's on Riney. He has a flush. And he is reaching for more chips. And this time, 300,000 is the bet. To add to the confusion. And right now, Allen's saying to himself, wait a second. This guy really was strong. Is he going to push, push, push like that? Maybe I could be a hero today. Maybe my ace high is in front. Well, that's exactly right, Vince. That's all I can be thinking about. He's really saying to himself, could this guy have possibly made another flush like he did in the last hand against me? How many times can you make a flush in one game? Ronnie trying to act like he's got a migraine headache here. Inside, Ronnie's saying, please call, please call, please call me. It'd be a catastrophe for Alan Sass, who's played so well all evening long. He's going to oh. make the call and blow another 300000 in this pot. Oh boy, he is going to donate it. And with this hand, Riney Campbell has taken a massive chip lead in this three-handed battle. He shoots his arms up. The crowd goes wild. Alan Sass mucks his hand in record time. Has to be a little embarrassed by that call. And right now, the crowd going nuts for their man, Riney Campbell. You got to say, this guy is really catching the cards. Back to back hands, he's made queen eye flushes. Well, Mike, I got to tell you, I got a lot of respect for Alan Sass. You know, Mr. Bad Sass, he's a hell of a player, but right now you got to say that he is self destructing a little bit here. Well, no doubt about it. Alan had the chip lead just a short while ago, but Ronnie was on the short stack. Now it's completely flip flopped around. Ronnie with the big chip lead. Like a big snowball rolling down the hill, just getting bigger and bigger, and could become unstoppable. And here goes the Rhino once again. This time with a mediocre 10-7 has raised and all in by Alan Sass with pair of fours, 44. And Riney quickly calls him without hesitation with a 10-7 offsuit. It's the best thing you can hope for. And Alan Sass has got to be a little shocked by that. How could the guy He's beat me in the pot with a 10-7 offsuit? You know, sometime I might be able to beat a 10 high. Yeah, showdown so far. Ahead, behind. Indeed, he's got him beat right now. He's got the two fours, but we have the race situation. The two over cards versus the under pair. Alan Sass must win this pot to stay alive in this tournament. If Ronnie wins this pot, he will extend his chip lead. We'll be down to heads up play. And Alan Sass will be our third place finisher. Here we go with the first three out of five. None of them is good. Ace, Queen, Jack. Ace. So far, so good Jack. for the pair of fours. She's going to pair the board just to make it, like, again. To make it scary. Breaks into uh, a grin. Pair the boys a split. Saying, well, Jack what's going to happen now? Is he going to come a king, a ten, or a seven? A oh. king would give Ronnie a straight. And that's oh. a D. What happened? Oh, no. Unbelievable. Ronnie has made the ace high straight. A third consecutive pat hand has been made by Ronnie Campbell over Alan Sass. Alan's not out yet. If a 10 comes off, it would be a split pot. Alan cannot win the pot. He's got to catch a 10 to get the split pot. Complete devastation there for Alan Sass. River card for a split possibly. No, not to be. And just like that, Alan Sass, Sasquatch by the Rhino. He is out in third place. He is devastated in shock.